So, hey friends, Andy here. How you doing? Good to see ya. In this video, we're gonna talk about some different crypto miners slash crypto devices that all cost around $300 that are making anywhere from $100 a month right now to $1,200 or more really a month right now, which is kind of crazy. It's very rare in crypto that we uh, get devices or miners or things that are quite this profitable. And I will give you all the disclaimers about said profitability as we walk through these. First up, should be no surprise, is Hive Mapper. Uh, those of you who have already been running Hive Mapper, congratulations. This one has been so wild to watch. It's been it's been awesome. Uh, yeah, we're down six percent today, but let's let's zoom out, shall we? There's our thirty day. Thirty days ago, this thing was under two cents, and now we're at twenty almost twenty five cents per honey token. So that is absolutely crazy. And it's still ranked pretty low on the crypto charts at a ranking of 482. So I still call this a smaller cap for sure at only a $65 million uh, market cap. So what is Hive Mapper? Well, uh, maybe you've watched my videos, maybe you have one, maybe you've watched someone else's videos on these and you know what they are. But for those who don't know, I will give you the, uh, the high level uh, explanation. So in the world of mapping, we have the giant Google Maps. And with Google Maps, you have Google Street View. And maybe you've seen Google mapping uh, with their Street View cars. They have specialized vehicles that drive around all over the place with cameras plastered all over the thing, taking photos of buildings and streets and whatever so they can show it to you on their website. And that um, costs a lot of money. Those cars are super expensive. Uh, and if you wanted to start your own Google Street View competitor, it would cost you tons of money to build your, out your entire fleet of cars. And it would take you a super long time to actually get all the mapping data uh, that you'd need to get started. Um, and why would you even want this mapping data? Well, there's lots of businesses out there that want to buy and utilize this uh, these images. So there is a pretty big market for this. Uh, I would consider it very ripe for disruption, given that Google kind of has a monopoly on it. There are other players, but for small, nimble startups in this space, uh, there is plenty of room to disrupt and take a bite out of that market share. In comes Hive Mapper. So Hive Mapper is a DPIN project in crypto, meaning decentralized physical infrastructure network. Uh, so they want they have an idea in their company. They want to build um, mapping data, and instead of being centralized and buying all the mapping cars themselves, they are decentralizing it by having you and me do all their work for them. But don't worry, we get. Um, a reward in the process for doing so. So if we buy one of their mapping devices, their dash cams, and we drive around the streets and they find that information and data that we collect useful, they then pay us in their honey token. Uh, so this is really a very cool idea. Uh, this is the one I have, and this is the one that most people get, the Hive Mapper dash cam. It's a $300 device. And you put this into your car, and then you start driving around. You connect it to the Hive Mapper app, and then as it takes photos of the streets, you connect your phone to it. It pulls the photos off of the device onto your phone. Then when you're on a Wi-Fi connection um, later, uh, your phone uploads those images to Hive Mapper, and then they sort through them. Now, you're going to get paid regardless just for driving, but if you're mostly driving on roads that are already really popular um, and well mapped and driven, you're going to get paid less than if you drive on weirder routes or places or routes that are less mapped. Those are going to pay you more. And of course, the more you drive in general, the more you will make. And uh, what's crazy about this right now is this device uh, paid me with my one single hive mapper in our car 
uh, paid me about $625 worth of their honey tokens in the past 30 days. And we don't drive very much. There are people in my community, Sleep Money Club, that have been telling me that they drive a lot, like hundreds of miles a day, and they are making nearly $1,000 a week running this thing. So on the surface, uh, this all sounds great, and maybe even sounds too good to be true, and we'll talk a little bit more about that, but I think the value proposition to you and me for running this thing makes tons of sense. And what's cool is you can actually run multiple cameras. Uh, there are people who have them like all over their car, but you could run one in your windshield facing out, looking forward, and then you can also put one in your passenger seat uh, aimed at the side window, capturing side view as you drive. Uh, so that that's pretty rad. Now they do have two dash cams. Uh, there's the $300 one, and then there's a $650 one, the dash cam S. Now, as far as I know, you don't actually make any more honey tokens with the more expensive one. Uh, what you get for your more, for spending more money is just a sleeker, smaller uh, camera package, as well as some extra features like video recording. You can actually use it more like a dash cam, whereas that's a big downside to this one. You can technically, and maybe they've changed this recently, but in my experience so far, you can technically use it as like a accident camera dash cam, but it only captures at 10 FPS, and it doesn't capture video files. It only captures JPEGs, and you have to actually... Uh, I don't know if you can see it here. Yeah, there's a little USB port on, no, it's not this side. There's a USB port on one of the sides that you would then plug a thumb drive into. And it only captures like four hours worth of images or something. And then you have to actually disconnect it, pull them off and put it back on there. It can't continuously record. So that is a big downside if you want this as an actual like dash cam. However, I think that the money making aspect of it more than makes that con go away. Uh, the pros far outweigh the cons in this case. Uh, but these things are crazy, crazy profitable. Uh, so let's talk about the whole like too good to be true aspect. Uh, the reason they're so profitable is simply because the price has done this. I guess the market is just kind of waking up to this project in this space because, you know, uh, several months ago when I made my first video, these devices were making between $50 to $150 per month. And that's a bit more normal setting the expectations. You buy this thing and then it takes three to six months or a little longer to break even. But because there's still so few devices on the network globally that are, take, that are all taking their share of honey tokens, um, you know, compared to like mass adoption, there's still a relatively small amount. And the token price has gone up so much. These are like crazy, crazy profitable. Um, so... I think this is actually a pretty legitimate uh, company. I think it's a very solid idea. I think it fits solely in one of my favorite narratives in crypto, which is Deepin. And I think this just happens to be the right moment, the right time for profitability. So I don't think this is like a, it's too good to be true. So be like, have red flags kind of a situation. Um, now the profitability will probably go down over time as more and more cameras come online and more people are driving and, and mapping. But uh, I think the downside is pretty clear. If you buy a $300 dash cam and you don't make your money back, well, then you're out $300. And if that's a lot to you, then, you know, don't jump into something like this. But for me, 300 bucks for a crypto dash cam thing, who cares if it goes to zero, if it's making me potentially four to $600 a month or more, or some people, again, 500 to $1,000 a week, which is just mind blowing. So I don't think this will last uh, in that, you know, two years from now, you can still drive around and make $900 a week or something. But I think this will probably last as long as the price stays, you know, pretty high. Um, but the more dash games that come online, the more people who will be selling. So there is that to consider as well. But I think it's very clear to everybody uh, what the um, what the opportunity is here and why I think this is a very cool thing. Uh, plus, like this is an actual company that has an actual product that has a real marketplace fit selling this data. So they have a place where there can be real like um, money and revenue coming into the business. So that is a very interesting prospect uh, to me. Now, if you do want to jump into this, uh, there is a link in the description of this video right now. 
Uh, that's an affiliate link. So if you want to support me and support the channel and support me bringing more things like this to you, uh, use that link, please. They didn't sponsor this video. This is not a sponsored video by any of these products. I just like them all. Uh, but there's also a coupon code down there that gets you 10% off. So to make it make you hit break even even faster. So that's Hive Mapper, which I think is super cool. And I think you can see why I think it's so cool because it's so profitable. Uh, this is the most profitable one on this list that I'm going to be covering uh, today. But next one uh, is doing pretty good too. And this one is called Demo. Uh, Demo is actually up today. It's at 9.3% today, but it's ranked even lower. It's at 570, so upward potential of this token is also pretty massive. Uh, it's a $50 million market cap crypto. And their chart also looks much the same. Past 30 days, it seems like everybody's suddenly woken up to that crypto exists and that maybe we should all invest in a crypto or something. I don't know. But either way, I think people are waking up to crypto again, and I think people are understanding that projects like these that have real utility maybe are worth your time and effort and consideration. So let's look at Demo. Um, Demo is is really interesting in that it's it's also taking your car and turning it into a passive income um, source, but they are doing it in a very different way. So. Uh, let me show you their their device as I talk about it. Uh, they have two devices. Uh, I'm going to try their new one, uh, but I have not. But I have not tried that yet. But I currently am operating two of their Auto Pies. So most modern cars, after a certain year, um, I don't remember when I first started introducing the diagnostic port. Um, have a diagnostic port on them. Um, I know that specifically Demo only supports cars that are 2008 and newer. But basically you plug this device in to your car and it's just a, it's a case, it's a housing that has a Raspberry Pi and some other stuff in it or some other single board computer. Uh, and you plug it into your car and it starts capturing your car's data. So they capture um, real-time vehicle performance and health data, uh, error scanning and diagnostics, uh, they also track uh, gas mileage, um, things like that. But they also track privatized location information. So they know the GPS location of your vehicle. And that might be a little scary and go, why would I give this crypto company my you know, location, my information and stuff? Well, the reality is, is most modern cars, especially the newest of the new ones that are fully cellu cellular connected, GPS connected, whatever, they already do all this. They data mine you to death. If you, if you read the fine print, it's in there. And then they sell all that data without you knowing about it, unless you read you know, the agreement, and without giving you a dime. And what's exciting about Demo is this is the first time that you can take that, that data and you can kind of control it a little bit. You're still selling it. They're, they're selling it. That's how they make money. That's their revenue source. But uh, you are in the loop now, and they pay you for the right to use that data. So they take that data, they sell it, and they get, and you get paid in the Demo token. So this is also a $300 device. And again, there's a link to this one, same, same deal. Um, as, well, as well as a, uh, a coupon code in the, in the description. And this one also, if you use the other code in the description, when you get your device and when you set up the app, if you put it in there, uh, you will get uh, 50 Demo uh, tokens for free, which, what is that worth today? So you get uh, almost, uh, almost $13 of Demo for free today. Uh, of course, if that goes up, then it's even worth more. Uh, and this device, uh, I think I've been making um, around just just under a hundred dollars a month uh, per car with this. Um, we're not the highest level in the app. The more times you drive in a row, the higher up in the app you get in terms of levels, and the more you earn. Uh, and that's the other cool thing here is this one is accessible to you to earn even if you don't drive a ton. As long as you drive every week and you don't break that chain, uh, you will get more and more rewards over time. 
But I do have people that I've chatted with uh, in my community, for example, that are earning over $100 a month with this little device. So this one, at the price where it is today, can pay for itself in three months or less. And of course, if you just hold all your demo tokens and it doubles in price next month, well, then that time shrinks in half. Uh, and what's really cool about both of these is they have other fits. Like if you, um, if you have multiple cars, the Demo device is cool because while the GPS data is privatized to Demo, uh, you as the owner of the device, it's not privatized. So you can actually GPS track your car wherever it is. So if you just, if someone steals your car or something, you can track your car, which is cool. But also if you do like Turo or something and you have multiple vehicles, you have a fleet of cars, one, you can now turn them all into uh, passive income machines beyond what they currently do by renting them out. But two, if they get stolen or you don't know where your person is or whatever, you can track your entire fleet's GPS location, which is super cool. Uh, and the same thing for Hive Mapper. If you do Uber or Lyft or you do delivery or you work at a job where you're driving constantly um, or you, you know, you're know you going to different locations all the time, you're taking weird back roads and whatever, this could be like crazy profitable to you because you take a bunch of routes that most people don't take every single day and therefore they're less mapped and less frequently mapped so you earn even more money um, and and again let, let me just repeat that you know this is where we are currently with these um, and this looks really good and they're still really early so the price can go up a lot but it's still crypto so you know hive mapper is down seven percent today but we've had a few of, you know, we went as high as uh, 37 cents and then it dipped down. Now we're kind of back on the upward trajectory. So it does do this, um, but it could go down even more than that. Uh, these companies could fail, but that's why I think this is a very interesting market segment because, again, $300 dash cam to uh, $300 um, auto pie device. For me, it's like a total no brainer because if these companies collapse, well, then I only spent $300. Now, both of these for me have already broken even. I am far into profit on both. So I don't care if it go, you know, they go bust at this point. But I, don't full, I fully expect these to continue being companies and things over the next year at least because we're just getting into the crypto bull run. And these are both utility-driven actual companies. Uh, and I think that is a is very interesting uh, point to consider. Okay, moving on to number three device on this list. And let me go ahead and preface this next one and that this is by far the riskiest one of them all. Um, it's one of the, it's a second most lucrative one on this list. It's more lucrative than Demo, but uh, yeah, let me explain what it is. Uh, ETC proof of work POW is the token used for a crypto project called ETCMC. And man, their site, <clears throat> I got to work on this site. This site is a uh, is rough stuff. But um, let me let me explain this as best I can. So having read their white paper, um, they want to be a uh, Ethereum Classic mining pool that's community driven and it's powered by these nodes and stuff. And there's a DAO and they share all the um, revenue and stuff like that. But then these are also Ethereum Classic nodes. Uh, and now, if you were to just run an Ethereum Classic node, you wouldn't be making money. But they have like added a layer on top of that to kind of give you give you a reward for doing so. Um, they are very light on the details about this one. Uh, and that's because it's super early. It's very basic. Again, look at this website. Uh, I classify it as high risk. Um, now, there are lots of people and probably some in the uh, comments right now who are absolutely fanatical and love this one so much and think it's going to be, uh, you know, the future. Um, and I do have some thoughts about that too. Uh, but first, let's talk about uh, what you do with this one, how you earn money, and what it's going to cost you. So their actual devices are sold out right now, but you can get their uh, ETC MC digital uh, license for 
If you buy this software license, you can now run this software to run their uh, node launcher software on any computer you run it on, as long as it meets their requirements, which are down here. Windows 10 or 11, four core, four thread CPU, um, 256 gigabyte SSD, and at least eight gigs of RAM. So you pay $250, and you either use a computer you have already, or you buy one, like I am running some of mine on these little guys, um, which is a link to this down in the description too. It's a $170 mini computer, and there's a $15 off coupon. So if you, uh, but if you already have computers laying around your house, then it's only 250 bucks to get this started. Uh, you install the software, um, you get your license that you buy, and you buy the license um, with their uh, with their token. Right now it costs, uh, who is it hard to read? Okay, it looks better on that screen. Uh, it costs 138 ETC uh, POW. Uh, and they ha there's a little um, DEX swap exchange you can use for this. Uh, you buy ETC, send it to an ETC uh, MetaMask wallet, uh, connect to the, the swap site, swap it for ETC proof of work, and then buy your license with that. Then you, again, install the software on the mini PC. Um, and connect your license to it. And then once you, you have to do a few like settings, so you have to be a little bit tech savvy here to open a port and stuff like that. But once this thing syncs with the blockchain, then you start earning. And right now, now, and this is probably gonna change in the near future, but right now you earn 320 ETC POW per month, which is $576 per month on a license that only costs 250 bucks. So uh, again, this is a highly profitable uh, crypto miner slash device because it only costs $250 and it makes almost $600 a month. But uh, this one I think is by far the least established of all these. Hive Mapper, Demo, full on real companies, websites, hire people, they're public facing, all that have hardware devices. Then there's this website. So, when I first encountered this, which was a few months ago, I think, um, I think it set off a few like uh, alarms in my head. And the, if it's too good to be true, it probably is department. Um, you know, I've, I've invested in various things that employ um, sketchy economics that you could maybe call even Ponzi-nomics in the past. Now, I'm not saying that that's what's happening here, but, uh, you know, people are buying the ETC proof of work token to then buy the license to then get paid in the ETC proof of work token. Uh, however, let me give some caveats. Uh, I've been running mine for over a month now, and I've spent, I have seven ETC MC nodes, and my seven uh, nodes, uh, between the computers I bought and the licenses I bought, uh, I put half of them on computers I already had, and I bought a few computers. Uh, it cost me $2,200 to buy all that. So from, from the start, I'm $2,200 in the hole. So if this, if this project collapses tomorrow, that money is gone forever, which is, you know, you should consider that before jumping into any of these. However, a month later, I've actually made... Uh, just under $1,200 back. So I'm actually 50% of the way to break even already uh, a month later because of the, I don't think it's actually even been a month, three weeks later, two and a half weeks later. So I do want to set expectations here that the risk factor, how early this is factor, um, but also say that I have had positive you know, experience with it so far. That doesn't mean that won't change tomorrow. That doesn't mean, um, you know, this won't collapse next week. Because we look at the chart. The chart was not looking so good for a little while. But I will say over the past week, it has leveled out. So does this mean it's going to be on its way back up or it's going to say sideways? I don't know. They have released some good news about like having a, a DEX and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, there is stuff coming out. Uh, but there's tons and tons of these nodes coming online. Uh, so you just have to weigh with any of these. Ask yourself, is the money I put into it, if I'm going to miss that money, you know, is it worth 
trying out with the, the experiment. And for me, you know, 2200 bucks wasn't not a big deal, but if I was just, you know, buying one node, especially at $250, do I care with my, with my portfolio size, care if I lose 250 bucks on this? No. But if you do, if that's a significant portion of your portfolio, then maybe you should listen to your gut and you should stay far away. So this is one that is, again, super early. Uh, I'm really kind of waiting for them to release more things of substance. Um, and I'm not entirely convinced this one can sustain and survive. But I would love to be wrong because uh, the, the, the nodes that are behind me uh, right up here, uh, plus the other ones I'm running, will end up making almost $4,500 over the next 30 days if this thing continues on as it is. Uh, so I would love for this one to work out because that's great money, but I have no idea if it actually will or not. Moving on. Uh, so that is really, that the video is mainly those three, but I'm going to throw one more bonus one in here because I did see that they did just come back into stock. And that is the Ice River uh, KS0 Pro. Uh, these were sold out for a while, but they did just come back in stock. Uh, this one's actually outside of my promise in the title. This one's more expensive than $300, but it's still a relatively cheap miner. Um, I don't have like a, a referral link or anything for this, uh, but you can go to iceriver.io and find it. So right now the Ice River... KS0 Pro um, makes about $77 per month or about 670 CASPA per month. Um, and on your on 10 cent per kilowatt hour electricity, it only costs you $7 a month in electricity. So $85 of revenue, $77, almost $78 of um, profit. And the cool thing is with the ice rivers is you can uh, overclock them. So this one you can actually, if you get a really good one, you can actually overclock at 2.3 of a tera hash at 130 watts, which, and that's a free thing you can do. And that will mean it'll make $118 a month in profit. But the real promise and the, re and the reason I own some non-pro KS0, is just the regular vanilla KS0, and I just bought um, a KS3M, a big boy one, through my uh, friends over at Musk Miners, and I run the fraction mining uh, Caspa NFTs, is because I'm pretty bullish on Caspa into the next bull run, and I want to mine some now because I think the price is going to go up. So you can imagine uh, if the price of Caspa um, were to go to $1, uh, I mean, it's easy math. It's if you're getting a thousand Caspa a month right now, then that's retroactively that's a thousand dollars a month in Caspa. But let me go ahead and show it to you what it looks like. So that would be nine hundred and ninety-six dollars of profit per month if Caspa in the future were to go to a dollar. Uh, if you mine and hold Caspa, which is what I currently do. So this this device uh, is more expensive than the other ones. Uh, it requires you know you to run it at your house. It does create some uh, a little bit of heat. It uses a little bit of electricity, uh, and uh, it's maybe got a few more steps than the other ones. And this one, um, you're counting on the price appreciation of the uh, the coin Caspa. But I like these little devices. They're very quiet. Uh, you can kind of forget about them. They can just accumulate in the background. And they did just come back uh, on uh, on for sale. So, very cool. So that is a few devices that are $300 or maybe a little bit more that are currently earning uh, $100 a month up to uh, $1,200 a month or more. So maybe you knew about all those, maybe you didn't, but either way, let's chat uh, about all that stuff and uh, let's see what y'all think. And let me know if any, in the chat if you are someone who is actually running these things uh, or if any of these are your favorite or if you're particularly bullish on one over another. Joker Miner has two KS Zeros mining Doge doing pretty well. That's very interesting. So you're not very bullish on Casper long term. You're more bullish on Doge. 
Um, yeah, Unminable is a really cool mining pool where you can point pretty much any miner to it and then mine whatever you want, get paid out in whatever you want. Um, my two, and another reason I bring up the Ice Rivers is because uh, my two Ice River KS0s that I bought, um, I don't know, four to six months ago, and I paid $1,000 each for those, not four twenty nine like they're currently priced. They have now paid for themselves like three to five times over. So I have fully broken even. I'm fully in ROI. I'm fully in profit on those. They've been a great decision. Uh, and all my other cast of mining is also looking very good right now. So I'm, I'm pretty bullish on, on that stuff going forward. Um, and it's worth, uh, worth bringing up, I thought. How much for the PSU power supply unit? Uh, if you buy their official one, it's 20 bucks. But there are quite a few good ones on uh, Amazon, and you're going to um, probably need a, a slightly bigger one um, from Amazon if you want to overclock it, because it will use more power if you overclock it. Um, I'm guessing you're talking about ETC MC, and... Okay, so they did pass a Dow vote to reduce it, so it's now 312 a month. Yeah, and I suspect there'll be more of those, um, which is another reason why I had a little bit of a red flag because in the past with like the fake node projects that used, you know, flexible economics, their band aid for the situation um, was not to build more utility or to build something, you know, real revenue stream. Their band aid to make them more sustainable was to just continuously reduce the rewards that paid out to people. And I think that you need to reduce rewards. That makes sense. Hive Mapper, the rewards go down. Demo, the rewards go down. Uh, Caspa, as it, as it becomes more difficult to, to mine, the rewards go down. That's normal. But you have to combine that with um, building in real utility and stuff. Um, and so it seems like they have a few things going with ETC MC, but it's just so early. That's why I can't stress to people enough why it's so risky. Um, so, and anybody who is like crazy about ETC MC is like totally in love with it or whatever. Uh, and you know, you're insulted when I say it's highly risky or highly speculative, or you could lose all your money next week. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm running the things for a reason cause I see the potential. Um, I like it right now. I like the rewards. I hope the best for it. I want it to succeed, but you know, Two people, too often people um, marry their bags and they get just, it's almost cultish when people talk about certain things. And if you could just disconnect your emotions from the things you own and buy and look at them as objectively as possible, you will make significantly better uh, decisions in this space when you can disconnect your emotions from, you know, your decision making. And you should be objective and go, okay, lots of things about this that would definitely you know, be considered red flags, uh, super early, super risky. Am I assessing, um, doing my risk assessment properly? And am I sizing my risk appropriately? Uh, and you know, what, what is my, um, how am I hedging my bet if I'm wrong about this doing well in the future? And how am I hedging if this is going to do well in the future? So, you know, maybe that's selling a certain amount, but not selling at all. Or, you know, there's some, there's different combinations of ways you can approach this stuff. Joker Miner, thank you very much for the super chat. Um, oh, and awesome. I'm glad that you've enjoyed the uh, – the lives have been a lot of fun. This is – hello. I'm alive right now. These have been fun. I'm, I've been excited to do these more. And, uh, yeah, for those who don't know, I do send out a newsletter uh, pretty much every single week. Uh, there is a link down in the uh, description to sign up for my newsletter. It's 100% free. Um the way I monetize that is there's occasionally a little ad blurb in there, um, but I don't ever charge you for that. And I try to give you like um, passive income plays or opportunities that I see upcoming uh, that uh, I'm interested in. Sometimes those are ones that don't even make it onto the channel. So if you just want another source of things I find interesting in the space or just general in investing thoughts, uh, that is a definite must subscribe. Again, it is totally free. Joker, thank you for joining us on the live stream and for reading those uh those emails live 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 
Uh, X Cheeseburger, just want to say hi before I go back to work. Uh, hopefully your workday is good. Thank you very much for tuning in. Yes, marrying your bags will make you pull your hair out if you're using money you shouldn't be. The most common mistakes newbies make in this space um, are investing in things they do not fully understand, um, over overextending themselves, um, investing way more than they feel comfortable with, like using money that they need to pay rent or whatever per month uh, that they need. Using any money that you need will just absolutely destroy you if that if that coin or project starts to dip and you don't have money to make ends meet because you're expecting to get certain returns because you overextended yourself. Horrible feeling. And then lastly, the, the other big mistake is just um, not sticking around long enough. Uh, the only reason I see big volatility, and I don't care if a thousand here or a thousand there vanishes, I never see it again, is because I've been in this space hardcore for over six years now. And if you've only been in this space for six months, well, we treat we react to the market movements very differently. So, uh, you know, I would encourage you to just, uh, you know, always take a step back um, and never give in to FOMO because for every opportunity I share here on the channel uh, that you miss, there will be 50 to 100 more to replace it. There's no shortage of opportunities in the crypto space and you should never give in to FOMO because, oh, I, you know, I got to get this opportunity. Hive Mapper or Demo or ETCMC. If I don't get on this, I'll never make this kind of money ever again. Absolutely not true. Tosa, thank you for the comment. <laughs> this is, that's crazy. I did not know Bonk was on Coinbase today. What a world we live in. Tune in uh, daily and mods on other channels like CCXD, Mining King. I've met Mining King in person. Super nice guy. Red Panda Mining. Been watching Red Panda for years. I love the crypto community too. <laughs> Long shorts. I, yes, I support this. Let's all, if you are watching me right now and you're listening to my voice, let's all of us become billionaires. And then we can drive up and down the highway in our, in our gold Lamborghinis and just high-fiving each other. I like it. Thank you, Docky, my friend. Yes, if you're watching this right now and you have not hit the like button, please do so. Also, if you're watching this right now and you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. I am so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year that I would love your help and assistance. Uh, so if you haven't subscribed and you like this content and you want more of it in the future, hit that subscribe button, please. Legend, oh yeah, I know Legend, I know you from, from Twitter. Thank you, thank you very much for the comment, sir. Yeah, that's why we're all in this space, right? We wanna make money, but also I hope most of us wanna help other people make money too. That's like super, super satisfying. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly what my worry is when I when I talk about stuff like this. Because, yeah, I, I know you're joking, but this is my like horror, uh, this is my nightmare to thank people, because there are people who really do think like this. Take out a loan from the bank, use credit cards, um, you know, buy up a bunch of a super risky, super early thing because it makes so much money right now. And then they expect to just make all that money back in a month and then they can pay their credit card bill. But it might not work out that way. I've seen it too many times work out the opposite. Please, you know, this is not financial advice. You should, you know, don't listen to YouTubers, me or anyone else to get your financial info. Like, don't make decisions based on what I'm talking about. Uh, but just know that if I were in that your shoes, I would never, ever be considering taking debt to put into highly speculative, highly risky things. Um, it's where, you know, if, if it goes to zero, that puts me in a really bad position. So yeah, I like that lawn shorts. Engine, yes, I am still holding reaction. I'm still running my three nodes. They are still making like the three of them together are making four or $500 a month right now. That one is going really well. Um, I had a few people asking me why I didn't talk about reaction to my most recent video, but uh, reaction is just not in my top 10 by value. It might be one day, which would be cool. It's just not currently. Dodge Dog, hello, my friend. 
Dodger Dog is in Sleep Money Club, uh, a friend to the club. Lots of great plays. Uh, I believe I learned about reaction from Dodger. Let me go ahead and post the link to Sleep Money Club in the chat. If you haven't considered um, joining Sleep Money Club, you should. We have a seven-day free trial. There's like zero risk to just check it out, and you can get access to seeing all my buys and sells, what I'm looking at before I talk about it on the channel. You see all of our income strategies and plays. You get our exclusive live streams and so much more, along with being in a group of several hundred like crypto geeks just like me and you. So it's a fun time. Dodger says, I am still, I am on a self-imposed investment hold right now. I've not got into any of the things you've been talking about today. Am I worried? No, there's always more opportunities. Yeah, that is really wise advice. Also, Dodger's somebody who started a, like a year ago in Sleep Money Club with zero in crypto, more or less. And then in that year has built up to where I think he posted an update a couple days ago. He's making $800 a day or $850 a day in crypto passive income, starting from zero in this space. Uh, so that's just the proof, you know, that you know, sticking with it, not giving up and building, but also having that attitude of, I don't need to jump on every opportunity because obviously he's making all that money without being in any of these. So that's, that's pretty rad. <laughs> I'm getting a butterfly labs feelings. I, you know, I have feelings like that from time to time, you know, uh, vaporware. Um, but you know, again, uh, hive mapper, I've made all my money back, uh, and they actually deliver. Uh, Demo has fully delivered and I've made my money back on that one. ETC has delivered so far and I've made 50% of my money back. But that doesn't mean, you know, past results don't guarantee, uh, you know, future returns or anything. Um, yeah, 98.8. Almost there, Joker. So yeah, if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, help get me over the hump. One hundo. Crypto Dan, good to see you. Looking forward to Caspa reaching $4 in the next bull run. That's Caspa with the market cap of Doge, all-time high, being uh, Doge the third most profitable mining coin after Caspa. Why not? Hey, listen, uh, I've long since given up on what is reasonable um, price predictions and what isn't. Uh, I never would have thought Doge would have had the run it did or that Sheeb would have had the run it had uh, or so many of these. It is absolutely possible with enough money flowing into the crypto space that the market cap is big enough that Casper could absolutely be multiple dollars in value. Um, do I, you know, is it a guarantee that that will happen? Absolutely not. But we have no idea just how big this next crypto bull run is going to be. We have no idea how much capital is going to flow into the space. It could be as little as twice as much as last bull run. It could be 10 times as much. Uh, so, you know, we're in uncharted territory right now. We are trudging forward to the future, and the future is unknown. So, Dan, I love it. I would love to own Caspa uh, and it go to $4. I like that a lot. Before I answer that, Baptista, how old do you think I am? How old do I look? What's the guess? What's the guesses in the chat? Nerd things and more. I have one reaction node. Very cool. Uh, yeah, those of you who are interested in uh, reaction nodes, uh, it requires 600,000 reaction right now to run a node, but it is going up in like two or three weeks to 800,000 reaction. So thankfully, my nodes have already earned me enough to um, go to the next tier, but they're going to increase it over time. It is a Raptorium fork. And those of us who run Raptorium nodes know how that worked. Once upon a time, it was, uh, you know, much less, and then it slowly went up over time, the collateral. So just be aware of that if you're getting into reaction, you will need more reaction to run a node soon. It's good to take risk, calculated risk, absolutely. Um, you know, 40%, for, more than 40% of my portfolio is Bitcoin, which is, you know, a calculated risk, but it's, you know, less risky than maybe some of my other positions. So, it's all about your sizing and, you know, how much money you make from your job and how much you have in savings and how much you have in the stock market and your retirement and then how much you have in crypto and the positioning size there. So, yes, always calculate your risks and do risk assessments. <laughs> uh, Joker thinks I'm 45. <laughs> there are things like I'm 50. Okay. 
<laughs> Cryptomaniac. 55, early 40s. Uh, <laughs> all right. I need to start, uh, I need to start like, uh, doing some moist- more moisturizer on the skin. Um, back to back. Got it right. That is my age. <laughs> I don't know if you're joking or if you really think I look that old, but thank you. Not, no thank you. <laughs> um, Joris, selling Neaxa to join Sleep Money Club this weekend. I'm very excited about you joining Sleep Money Club, but definitely don't like sell all your Neox or something just to join the club. I'm a big, I'm a long term, you know, uh, Neoxa bull. Launcher's bullish on Demo. Me too. Love uh, D Pin. Uh, oh, I missed a few. Um, Random Planet. Hey again, Andy. You got me into various utility nodes. Very cool. Streamer, pre, Neox, etc. Um, are you running. Uh, nodes on testnet are you talking about the streamer nodes on testnet and yeah we're doing some stuff around those in sleep money club and we're probably gonna do some kind of big uh combined node when they launch the new stuff in january unless you mean about something else so clarify if you would (laughs) diego that is that is too true one year in crypto is like four years i would argue that like six months in crypto is like four normal years or something um (laughs) <laughs> I'm not saying 55 is old. I'm just saying, you know, I hope I don't look 55 already, you know? And if I'm random planet, if I'm gauging based on your profile picture, you look pretty good for 55. So I'm not not dissing the 55-year-olds. I'm just saying don't put me in the 50-plus category yet. I still got over a decade before I get there, gang. <laughs> yeah, crypto keeps us young. I'm only 21. It's like the uh, the uh, hide the pain herald. <laughs> Where is it? Yes, here it is. This, this is me right now. I mean, I, w- I won't lie, especially in the early years, you know, crypto, it's it's a stressful, it's a stressful place to be in the world of crypto. <laughs> yeah. Too, is this too true? Is this too close to reality? Yes, streamer. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm doing, I am doing, um, uh, test net stuff with the club and as soon as they launch uh, next year with the new stuff the sponsor nodes whatever we plan to do one big one together so we can all earn a lot of good stuff uh, together but yes playing with it very excited about the changes um, I don't have much thoughts about chain link I don't I don't think I own anymore uh, own it anymore but interoperability chains could be a good play it's too high up the crypto charts for me I want stuff that's Way down the charts. Got in the exit node for 800 bucks. Thanks to you. Awesome. Way to go. Yeah, if you watch some of my very first Neoxa videos, or my first BlockX video, or many of these, you got some nice entries on those. It is up a lot. <laughs> Crypto or die. I thought he was like 200. I hope I live long enough that medical technology allows me to replace certain components and I can actually live to 200. That would be wild. Uh, Strachio, uh, that is a question only you can answer. I obviously think they are because I just spent another 12 grand on, I spent, I spent almost $22,000 on Casper mining so far, which, you know, a few of my, my crypto friends like, uh, Greater good mining, that's that's nothing. They've spent way more than me. But I would not be doing that if I didn't personally think it was a good idea. Uh, however, what I think is a good idea doesn't, you know, doesn't track for you. It doesn't mean you think it's going to be a good idea or you should do it. You have to ask yourself, uh, the money I put into it today, will I get more money out of it in the future? The money I put into it today, if it all goes to zero, will I be okay 
kissing that money goodbye, and do I feel 100% okay about that? Um, and the money I put in today, the amount of cash it could buy me just from buying it, will I earn more cash than that over the long haul from uh, doing the mining? And if you can say yes to all those things, then maybe maybe it is a good, uh, maybe it is worth it for you. But only you can investigate that for yourself. Uh, Sha uh, Sasha Dawkins, uh, what's a good node to start to get into running a node? Um, so many. Uh, I love pre-search still. I still have all my pre-search uh, and pre-search node. Let's look it up together. Pre-search is up 7% today. You need 4,000 pre-search to run a node, which costs $132 today. Uh, it will it will earn you very little per month. Uh, but it's so cheap, and pre-search isn't going anywhere over the next year, I hope, uh, that it's, you know, it's very little money to try it. Um, and it's a great one just to wet your toes, um, get your toes wet, dip your toes in the pool, uh, test out the water for yourself, and see if they're fine. Uh, and you can host at Node Orbit, um, which is my recommended host, and you can host at Node Orbit for only $2 a month per node. So, you know, getting that node set up will teach you a lot about the node process, and then you can jump into other ones that have higher returns and maybe have higher risk or this or that. But I think that's a great one just to start with as you're learning the ropes um, around what nodes are and how you run them and stuff like that. Um, but there's lots of good options. Um, and I've, I know I'm skipping comments and stuff here. You know, if anybody has any specific things they really want me to answer or um, specific projects they want me to look at, uh, you can drop a super chat and I will 100% get to it. Uh, Miner Joel. Uh, my, um, I don't know what my ROI is. It's got to be like 200% at this point. Uh, unless you're asking what my break even was, my, uh, I broke even on my Hive Mapper in less than three months. Um, when I was initially running it, I was earning between, I want to say, fifty to seventy dollars for the first month or so. But because the token has appreciated so much, um, you know, I just earned I earned like six hundred dollars worth of uh, honey tokens just in the past thirty days, and the and the the Hive Mapper Dash came itself is only three hundred dollars. So, you know. Uh, that would be the return on the investment, but it only you know it took me less than three three months to actually break even, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> if you look at Andy's knowledge only, it's not strange that people think he is old. Thank you. I will take that. I will take the wisdom of a fifty five year old and the body of a thirty eight year old. Um, I like Alpha Shares a lot. Lawn shorts. I own ten of their um, of their uh, reserve um, Bitcoin mining um, NFTs. The uh, Alpha Shares Mining Co. Reserve NFTs. I have ten of those, uh, and I'm really excited for when the um, element, the antimony element refining comes online. Um, and once they get all their miners online, I start making more Bitcoin from those. Uh, I like their smaller ones too. Um, I'm a huge fan of alpha shares. I'm a huge fan of fraction mining. I think both are really great options if you don't want to own the hardware yourself and you want to just get, want to get an NFT that gives you exposure to mining. Um, you know, there's maybe you get slightly better economics if you own the hardware yourself, um, and you do have the potential to flip, uh, do a very lucrative flip of the hardware. You know, in a bull run. However, conversely, the NFTs you can flip the NFTs in a bull run too. So they both have pros and cons, which is why I do both. Um, but yeah, I love Alpha Shares. I've chatted with that team uh, a lot of, um, quite a few times. Uh, those are a bunch of great guys. Big fan. Uh, Legend, I have enough for a DAG node. I have over 250,000 uh, Constellation. Uh, but last I looked, they hadn't opened up for me to make, to run a, a node yet. So... Um, on my own, I was still a beta program, and they, I've emailed them. If you're watching this constellation and you want me to talk about it on my channel, let me in. <laughs> uh, I no, I'm not currently running one. I need to check though again and see if they opened it up yet and if I can get in. I was doing the soft nodes though once upon a time. I just I missed the window to get in their beta program for actually running the real nodes. 
Whoa. Jay Edwin for the win. FTW. I've had the Demon Hive Mapper since January. Current combined portfolio from having one of each is about $25,000. Jay Edwin, let me just tell you right now, well done. Uh, yeah, there's, uh, you know, um, especially if you got in early with Demo, there was uh, early airdrops and stuff. I know my friend uh, Crypto Jar got several of those because he was in that one really early, and that was thousands and thousands of dollars worth of um, uh, Demo tokens. So, you know, I, I want everybody to be really responsible with their money and with their investments to really manage their risk, but also, you know, Jay Edwin here jumped into Hive Mapper and Demo before most people knew what it was, before most people were talking about it, when it was even more unproven than it is today. And, you know, when the person gets it right, you know, fortune favors the bold. He has been rewarded very highly for um, for jumping in. So, again, Jay Edwin, well done. I love seeing that. Uh, I do not day trade. Uh, there's things th things I buy for short term, like less than a month, and I do sell, but it's not a regular thing. I'm mostly a buy, mine, and accumulate for the longer term kind of a guy. And so far, that has made me far more money than most people I know who day trade. BlockX was Andy's call of the year for 2023. <laughs> Nexo was his call of the year for 2022. Superstar. Uh... Dodger, I don't think I would have known about Block X without you. Um, Dodgers had so many good calls in Sleep Money Club. Made made lots of club members thousands and thousands of dollars. Uh, it's been awesome. But yeah, Neoxa, Neoxa was a good one. For sure. And the, and the person who told me about Neoxa, uh, Lil Man, he's in the club now. So it's, it's, you know, credit, don't care about who gets credit for what as long as we all jump on things and we all win. That's what's important here. Crypto miners are completely dependent on your own situation. And again, are you okay losing that money? Yeah. Always have to ask yourself that question. Uh, again, sorry if I missed some comments. Um, if, if there's something specific, drop super chat so I can see it. Otherwise, I'm trying to go through these. There's just a lot. Joker, I did not see your tax question. Let me scroll. Uh, I don't know where it is. Can you put it in the chat again, Joker? Uh, crypto, crypto Clarity. Um, nodes are cool, but the first one I got into was strong. Yeah, and it left a bad taste. Miners are cool, but I got a helium miner, and the entire neighborhood had one by the time mine got delivered. <laughs> I feel you. I, I mean, I lost 15 or 16 grand to strong. Um, I mean, I have lots, lots of money and lots of things. I've just made way more money on the things that worked out. Um, and yeah, I feel you on helium. I have quite a few helium miners that, you know, I've now converted over to crank miners. Uh, but helium, man, the 5G stuff is kicking ass. That was such a good pivot by them. I know it's really easy to dismiss helium because of the, the kind of failure with the IoT stuff and have a bad taste in your mouth. Bad taste in your mouth a bad taste in your mouth because of that. But I would encourage you to look at, you know, uh, as objectively as possible and to look at the 5G stuff because it's really looking pretty good. Uh, but my, you know, other thing, and I'm, you know, the fact that you're here, Crypto Clarity, the fact that you're talking means I'm assuming you have not given up um, on crypto. So, you know, that's the big takeaway. No matter, you know, how many missteps we have, don't view them as failures, view them as lessons. That's why I have success. The very modest success that I do have is just because I didn't give up. And maybe it's because I'm just too much of a dummy and I just kept, you know, I'm hard-headed and I just kept going. I don't know. So, uh, cash, uh, Sonora nodes. I don't know what a Sonora node is. Hmm. Where, what are, where is that? Lots of questions here. Uh, what were the last nodes you invested in? I, a week and a half ago, bought two Miria nodes. 
I'm a Myriad node runner now. Uh, it's another gaming play. Which is funny, you know, uh, when I posted my, um, my gaming video, I had people in the comments who were like irate. They're convinced that I was paid to make that video and that the companies in that video paid me not to mention other projects like Myria. And one, that was not a paid video. But two, I definitely would never take money to not talk about something. But because I hadn't mentioned Myria in that video, they, were, they assumed I was out to get Myria and they were so unhappy. But I, Myria was on my watch list. I just hadn't looked at it yet. Um, and then I looked at it and I really like it. So I bought nodes. Um, so yeah, that's another... That's a, sorry, this is not what you were back to back. This is not towards you. But I think it's another good point of like, please disconnect your emotions from your bags. When you get that married to your bags and you become like a cult member of your thing, it just disrupts all your thinking. And I don't hate any crypto project. I might not care for certain ones because of decisions they make or I might not be interested in them for various reasons. But I try to make those as those decisions objectively. And... Uh, and if you're just making a uh, uh, if just making um, your decisions based on your emotions like that, and you're so flip floppy about everything's a conspiracy, I just don't know if you're going to make it in this market. This market is far too uh, volatile and far too cutthroat. You can use the demo devices in any vehicle that is 2008 or newer and has a diagnostic port, but you should join their their uh, Discord. Um, and ask them specifically. If you mean like big rigs, uh, I'm, I'm not fully sure. But um, China Cow, you can use, and lots of truckers are using the Hive Mapper with a lot of success. And given how, I mean, if that's what you are talking about, if that's what you do, given how many miles you guys put on the road, it's like that's a no-brainer. Put one out the front, one out the side, and then just let the passive income roll in. Fortune favors the bull, your friend Andy. I might, I might not be the first one who ever said that. I don't know, but I'll take credit for now. Um, have you been keeping track of Casp of Forks? Uh, not really, but I am looking at Pyrin or Pyrin, however you say it. Um, I skipped Carlson, and not, not by any particular reason. I just honestly was too busy and I missed all the hype. I probably could have made some money on Carlson. Whoops. Uh, I think you just have to wait till they release their next round. So hopefully in the next month or two, they might do that. I need to reach back out to them and see when they're going to open it up because I want to tell people about that one because I think it's a great opportunity for those of us who still have helium hotspots. But I don't know the answer, Random Planet. Sorry. Um, oh, wait, did I skip Joker again? Did you put your tax question in here, Joker? Sorry, I, I, I'm sure I've missed a lot. So it's hard to see them all. Um, what Neoxa price point would you target to get started with a node? Mm, now? I mean, you do what you want, what you think it's going to do, but let's let's look at it. Um, yeah, it did a weird little thing in the past two weeks where it looked like we were just going to keep going down for a little while, but then it kind of leveled out, and now it's almost looking like it wants to make its way back up to the top. Um, you know, lots of people tell me they're going to wait for the dip on the Oxa before they jump in, and I don't know. We might be in the dip. Couldn't tell you. Uh, long term, I'm not sure. Uh, I think long term, these prices are going to look cheap, but that doesn't, you know, that does not preclude the possibility that next week it drops by 50% or something. Uh, it's ranked at 919 or 917. It's very small, $18 million market cap. These are very volatile cryptos. Uh, but you know, um, if, you know, if it were, if it were me, if it were me, I look at this stuff and when I think things are going to be maybe going down, but they might be going up and I just really don't know I'm on the fence. Uh, that's usually where I start dollar cost averaging. Yes, I still mine Cadena, and I still hold all my Cadena, and I hope Cadena does well in the next bull run. We'll see. Uh, Sonor oh, uh, Sonorous. 
Uh, I have I looked at these last time I was on the stream, um, and it's interesting. I'm actually uh, looking into this one a little bit deeper. Um, I definitely want to watch now they're listed on an exchange. I want to watch what the price does uh, with all the because uh, I think they're about to sell out of ten thousand of their their nodes. They don't have nodes. They're, it's just their NFTs. It's, they're just using it as a marketing term, which I, I don't really like that part. But um, that's a lot of. Um, a lot of tokens that are going to be hitting the market. So I'm curious to see what the price does, but it's interesting. I'm looking at, they have a real app with real users. So that's, that's cool. Uh, I don't, I just haven't looked into it. Honestly, long shorts, um, lots of people that I watch, um, have the miners and it seems like they have had success and made their money back and stuff. So I probably should be running them, but my list of things I should be looking at and running is, is very long. So many possibilities. TikTok Tech, ETMC, about to bring out their own DEX. The platform is looking good. Uh, yeah, we talked about that in uh, Sleep Money Club. And, um, you know, is that is that good? Sure. But there's also, like, a million DEXs. Why do we need another DEX? It, what's what's their DEX going to... How is their DEX going to be, you know, valuable to other people who don't care about ETC, MC? Um, what's it going to bring to the table? Um, why is doing something that everyone, every project seems to do a good thing? So, you know, maybe it'll be good and lots of people will, will adopt it and they'll have some special aspect to it and there's a good reason for having it. Uh, but when I see stuff like that, you know, I take a step back and I go, is this an announcement for announcement's sake? Is it just doing something that seems like busy work that seems like we're actually making progress? Or is there an actual, like, market fit? Is there an actual need out there for this thing that they're building? And I don't know. It's too early for that one at least from my perspective. Oh, yeah, Demo, that's cool. Yeah, I forgot. Demo, if you have a Tesla, no device needed. <clears throat> I do not believe you can, um, unless you're talking about Hive Mapper, yes, you can. Demo, you cannot on the same vehicle. Um, Myriad Node just requires a node host. I'm hosting mine again with um, Node Orbit. And if you sign up for Node Orbit hosting before the end of the year and you use the code, um, and let me tell you right now, if you use the code FRIEND OF ANDY, all caps, all one word, you'll get 10% off of your order um, between now and the end of the year. Uh, so I'm obviously, uh, I like, high, uh, I like uh, Node Orbit a lot. So that's where I'm hosting all of my nodes. All of my nodes are hosted with Node Orbit now. Um, but, uh, playable, you don't need to do anything. You just buy the node and, um, and you're good because it's not a real node yet. Um, they are also doing the same thing. Uh, it's just a marketing term, which I don't normally like that, but in their case, they do actually plan to turn them into real nodes in the future. Um, they just haven't done it yet. Am I on top of chat? Are you, am I on top chat? I have no idea what top chat is. Oops, and I just scrolled and I lost my place. I'm not on top of chat. <laughs> Losing my place. Uh, have I looked at Kiro or Octospace? Octospace, I, I like, I hold, I mine. Uh, Kiro, I did look at and I am not interested. They have some... Uh, They've made some interesting decisions that I didn't agree with. So I am not interested in that one. They trying to they're trying to take uh, they're trying to make a very permissionless thing uh, of crypto and make it where you need their permission to run on certain websites or whatever and I don't I don't like that. Um do you, I don't know how li how su subtitles work with uh, live. Can you turn them on live? Will it do live subtitles? I don't think I have the option to turn them on on my end. Maybe I do. I don't know. I will look into that one. I'm sorry. Yeah, Ledger. Yeah, read the Ledger news today. Um, I've been pretty dubious on Ledger for a while now, ever since they did their whole uh, send send us your seed phrase for safekeeping thing. So once that was the case, I was like, ah, I think I'm out. Think I'm out on that one.
Neoxa node requires 1 million Neoxa, which is about $4,500 today. And then it just costs $6 per month if you host with Node Orbit or uh, your, play, your host of choice. <clears throat> Flared, how's it going? Uh, yes, I do, and yes, it is uh, quite profitable. Uh, mine's not nearly as profitable as my friend, the hobbyist miner. Uh, he's making like $37 a day running his. I've got the indoor antenna one, and it's just not quite as good, I guess. A Myria node costs $5,500 for one node today, and I host it at nodeorbit.com. Which again, if you use friend of Andy as your coupon code, you will get 10% off of your hosting from now until the end of the year. But I believe it's like $6 a month for hosting. Node Orbit is very affordable. There is a, oh, oh my goodness. I am in top chat, not all, wow. <laughs> learning something new. Well, I'm also using um, an external like viewer for um, comments and stuff. So yeah, I guess maybe there is stuff I haven't seen. Learn something new every day. Well, no, the one on on in my OBS it says live chat replay so I think it's live version not the top one but the one on my YouTube was definitely top chat so I don't know I've I, this I'm on my th third week or fourth week of being a live streaming professional I'm not very good at this I don't know what I'm doing I'm just trying to learn as I go yes playable is currently sixty four hundred dollars a node Uh, I looked at Microvision Chain a while back, several months ago when it was first introduced, and I didn't buy any, and I probably should have because it's up a lot since then. I don't really know. I don't have much opinion on it, though, off the top of my head. Um, well, tell you what, we are well over an hour um, now. So um, how about I take just a couple more questions or a couple more discussion points and we'll talk about it. If there's anything that I missed or you just really want asked, uh, drop a super chat and I'll make sure I get to that. Otherwise, I'll just try to hit up the next couple ones that I, um, I see and then we'll call this one um, all done. And then I'll probably see everybody again next week. And who knows what exciting things will happen in the world of crypto um, next week. Peter asks, what do you think will happen 2024 in the crypto space? Any big breakthroughs? Yes. Well, you should go back and you should watch my live stream from last week where I talk about Bitcoin potentially hitting a new all-time high uh, before the halving. Uh, there is a confluence of major events and timings happening in 2024 that I think will be significant, um, that I think could potentially be causing a, uh, a perfect storm for Bitcoin to be brewing. And if Bitcoin does well, all of crypto does well. On the go crypto with the super chat, super thing. Uh, that's called a super. That's a super, not a super chat. On the go crypto, you rock. Thank you very much. It's a very cool, a very cool lion you have in the uh, in the uh, profile pic. Patrick, watch the beginning of this video, and you'll find out. Greetings from Serbia. Greetings from America and from Texas. Thanks for being here. Um, appreciate that joker. I might just do that. 
The reality is there's plenty of great opportunities, so many that no one can get into all of them. Absolutely. That's the thing. Don't give in to FOMO when there's a hundred more opportunities to replace the one that you are trying to FOMO into. <laughs> yeah. Beep boop. So yeah, and also on the ETC MC nodes, um, I won't talk too much about it here, but if you were to join Sleep Money Club, uh, we have... We have clever methods for running them where you don't need to buy computers um, and you might not fully need all the requirements that they state on their on their website. So a little bit of uh, fun for you there if you're interested. Uh, that is, uh, that's five of them. Uh, but I've got two additional ones that are not behind me. Casper price prediction, uh, at least $1. Someone in the chat a little while earlier said $4, which I like that prediction a lot. I hope that happens. Uh, but I, I feel like $1 is, uh, is very doable. Thank you very much again uh, for the uh, Casper uh, price prediction question super chat. Well, let's look at it real quick. Since you were nice enough to do a super. Um, earlier in the chat, uh, someone mentioned Doge, which, uh, what is Doge ranked at right now? Doge is the 11th biggest cryptocurrency by market cap right now. So if Caspa got to be as big as Doge right now, that would be a 5X and that would be 63 cent Caspa, which I think is... Uh, very reasonable and very doable that Caspa would get um, that much money inflow. Uh, do I think it will actually, you know, right now or in the near term, take over, you know, pass up Doge on the crypto charts? Maybe, maybe not. But I think as more money comes into crypto, it's easy to see that five times as much capital could flow into Caspa and inflate it enough to be worth this. Uh, but if we look at the Caspa all-time high, uh, yeah, this is this is the four dollar number. Um, I can tell you this, I will not have most of my Caspa uh, when or if this were to happen. Um, you know, I will sell significant amounts at, at a dollar. Um, but I will certainly have a meaningful amount of Caspa if it were to ever get to $4. And I also don't know because I constantly um, reassess these price targets, um, seeing what what's being built and what they're doing and, and which way the market's going and... Uh, and all that stuff. So I'm always reevaluating the uh, the data. Thank you for your supers. Oh yes, let me drop that into the chat one more time here at the very end. There it is. It is in <clears throat> in the chat. Uh, again, several hundred crypto geeks are members of Sleep Money Club, uh, and all of us are interested in building wealth, building more passive income, and finding super cool, super early crypto projects and plays and opportunities. We discuss it all with each other. We jump on live streams every week. We jump on Zoom calls, um, and we're just trying to discover things that will make us a lot of money. And you also get access to... You know, being able to chat with me and seeing what I'm buying and selling, what I'm looking at. You get access to our deep dives and a whole bunch of other crypto things. And we have an entire section just dedicated to selling stock options. We have an incredible team uh, there that have made almost a million dollars in profits this year selling stock options. Um, so, yeah, we're making lots of money in Sleep Money Club. Uh, we are a very excited group of people. So if any of that sounds good, that link will give you access to a seven-day free trial. So you can test it with no risk. And then if you hate it, you can cancel and never be charged a dime. Uh, Matt, Automat, thank you very much. And I think that's where we will end it. Thank you everybody for tuning in to another exciting episode of Your Friend Andy. Um, I hope you are all out there making that money, maybe even running the things I talked about on this stream. And uh, I will see you next week, and we'll talk about some more things that can hopefully make us all um, crypto billionaires driving around in Lamborghinis 
And where we have so many Lamborghinis, we can just give them away for free because we don't know what to do with all of them. That's the dream. Goodbye.